One of my favourite cars, everyone knows I love Cortinas. I uh, think they're great, used to sell no end of them, of course. Mark 3s particularly, Mark 4s, Mark 5s. Uh, Mark 1s, yeah, great, aren't they? Everyone should own a Mark 1 Cortina. Um, it's a lovely, lovely car. The nice thing about this car, other than the condition, which is fantastic, it drove 240, 260 miles to the south. Did it? Drove straight up, Did no you? problem, never missed a beat. Now, I know people that are out there think, well, that's what a car should do. Yeah, it should do that. But an old car that hasn't been used very much in the last 25, 30 years, you know, you're expecting quite a lot of it, really. Mm. But, and I think, for a, any car of this age, don't care what car it is, what make it is, to do, do that effortlessly with no problems whatsoever, I think is a, quite an achievement. I think that's lovely. And that gives me the confidence to jump in this car and drive it back down to London. I wouldn't bat an eye. When it came in, I drove it around the village and thinking to myself, let's see how it goes. And I'm driving around thinking to myself, this is why it got here with no problem. It drives lovely, absolutely lovely. Proper, proper car, really nice condition all round. Um, owned by an enthusiast, obviously, as you can see. Look at the suspension tops. I know, lovely. Beautiful, absolutely lovely. Super engine bay, sweet as a nut, the engine. Gorgeous interior. There's nothing you can knock it on. Even number, real good number plate, look. I should be really annoyed if some idiot takes that off. I'd be right peed off if someone does that. I mean, that number plate wants to live with that car. But as soon as I walked up to this car in the forecourt, from 20 or 30 feet away, I, I, in my mind, I bought it. I knew this car was right. You can tell straight away, just walk up to it. And then when I spotted the raised digit number plate like that, that just does it. Did it? Mm. Because no one puts an expensive pair of raised digit number plates on a dog, you know. That I've only ever seen them on good cars. And, and as soon as I saw that plate, I thought, that'd be a good car, that car. Started looking around it, and sure enough, I was right. Mm. Yeah, no cracking car, isn't it? Lovely, lovely, lovely interior. Yeah. So, She's locked out, I locked it, because I didn't want her yeah. looking against this one. Beautiful it's not interior, lovely anyone. dashboard. Yeah, yeah. there's a, the history of the Cortina in that in there. Look, 573 pounds, 591 pounds, these cars. <laughs> uh, Great. A, lot, a lot of money, then. Yeah. My uncle bought one new, a 1200 in 1962, and, and the whole family thought he was mad. Absolutely mad. Uh, Uncle Andy going and buying an A, a brand new car, B, a Cortina. Bear in mind, we were all running things like, well, my dad and all the rest of them were running things like, you know, Rover 12s and stuff like that. I mean, like a spaceship mm. when that come out. I mean, just band of bomb back lights, look. Yeah. Uh, yeah. How are you? All right, mate, fine, thank you. Yeah. Um, it's just like a spaceship when they come out. So different to most of the stuff that was on the road, which was mostly pre-war yeah you know in 1962 you know it's hard to believe but most of the cars on the road were either pre-war or or late 40s early 50s pre-war style mm. so uh, these were revolutionary good but, good and band of bomb that night see you know I, this, this band of bomb thing this this is it there look yeah that was um all the hippies and all the rest of it were on about banning the, the h bombs. probably right aren't they Anyway, uh, and it was a big protest movement. Was it? Uh, and, uh, and the emblem was that. Oh, uh, I, like that. You know, I don't know where they, where they come across that. And of course then Ford come out with a band the bomb back light. People couldn't believe it. Yeah. And, uh, so um, I know an awful lot of the, 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 um, the hippie mob and that sort of thing sort of got hold of these and they put them on the back of their jacket and uh, oh, really? all the rest of it. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so whether they nicked them or bought them or not, I don't know. But anyway, that's what they are, band of bomb back lights. Deluxe, as you can see. Mm. Gorgeous car. Cracking car. Super.